Well, it looks like that faker is recording another one of his mid, 5 out of 10 at best videos. We might have to camp out in the VC until they get back. Scanning. Average time for a Sonic Discord server is estimated to be 15 minutes, suggesting something to occupy us to prevent boredom. Oh, I second that Omega. I can't just be sitting here and acting pretty all day. Got anything in that edgy brain of yours, Shadow? Damn, I forgot you two have the attention span of a nine-year-old with a TikTok account. Fine, I'll think of something to do. Oh no! Well, I got nothing. Seriously? There's nothing running around in that head of yours? I mean, we could just be lame and do a tier list like every damn one of these Discord videos or whatever. Well, now there's a thought. About time we got to do one of those, since I was wondering how long it would take for you to invite me to one of your little videos. I am in agreement with Rouge. A tier list with me being present will be of the utmost quality, since my opinions are entirely fact and nothing more. Omega, that's not. You know what? Never mind. A tier list with you two, instead of those Sonic Squad idiots, should be more tolerable at least. Well, that's the spirit, boys. All right then, what are we gonna rank, hmm? I remember seeing a suggestion from one of our members to do a tier list based on the Yakuza games. Are you guys familiar with it? Affirmative. Given that the Yakuza series of games are developed by our publisher company, Sega, it is only logical that we would be familiar with them. Well, that. And the fact that the series overall slaps. I mean, it's not every day you see such a consistently good lineup of games from a series owned by Sega. That stung a bit, but fair enough. All right then, looks like we got our topic. It is recommended that we only do the mainline entries in the series to prevent this video from lasting approximately 4,162, 781, 333, 900. Okay, okay, I get it. No need to get into specifics, dummy. Mainline entries only. Let me get the list. Well, while you're doing that, I suppose I should let all of you wonderful viewers know just how much each and every one of us appreciate your support. The growth's been pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Analytics show that our channel is likely to reach 20,000 subscribers soon. I like this. I like this a lot. So keep pressing that damn subscribe button and who knows? Maybe Team Dark will be in more episodes. That'd be fun, huh, boys? Affirmative. Yeah, whatever. Now stop being fucking sellouts to this faker's channel. I got the list up now. Is chronological order to be expected? Yeah, might as well, since I'm pretty sure Faker has high-key autism or something when it comes to game series. Geez, okay, we didn't need to go there. Come on, let's start this. Homegirl's getting bored over here. Fine, we'll start now. As this is ordered chronologically, that means we're starting off with Like a Dragon Ishin. Oh? Are we only doing remastered versions of older games? Yeah, might as well, since basically every main series remaster is better than the original, so there's no point. Well, in that case, I'd say Ishin is a pretty good game to start. It's very enjoyable and quite interesting as well. Affirmative. The combat involving simultaneous knife and gunplay was a particularly noteworthy aspect for me. Fact Omega, that shit was fire. The 19th century Japanese setting looked marvelous as well, especially given the contrast to all the games that take place in the modern day. And even though he isn't our goat, Kiryu, I think Sakamoto is still an absolute giga-chat, and I was really invested in his story despite it being similar to other entries. Speaking of which, we are going to avoid any and all story spoilers because of how, quote, absolutely goaded this franchise is, end quote. Yeah, go play the games themselves. You won't regret it, I promise. So, where are we thinking about putting this game? It's good, like most of the others, which is what makes this particular ranking hard. I'd say B-tier, but that doesn't mean the game is average. It just means it's a bit less fantastic than the games that will rank higher. That logic is sound. I will advocate for B-tier as well, Shadow. Makes sense to me. We know it technically isn't main series, but it's just too noteworthy to pass up. All right, now we're onto Yakuza 0, and like, come on, man. If this masterpiece of a game does not go right into S-tier, I will personally self-destruct myself. Okay, honey, no need to blow up on us. But yes, I absolutely agree that this is probably the best game in the entire franchise. It's beautiful. Glad to know you two are cultured, but first off, to sing its praises. Damn, there's just so many fun side activities to do when you don't want to do the main story. You could play this game for days, man. The story is very well presented and provides a very colorful array of characters. The highlight goes to Goro Majima, who very much cooked to 100% in this game. I'd like to also make a huge statement for newcomers. 
Start with this entry. Without spoiling, I'll say that it'll get you hooked instantly and make every game that comes after make more sense. The only thing I'd see to be noteworthy of complaint would be the graphics or some of the cheesy writing. But like, you should expect a good portion of cheese in this franchise. Affirmative. Maximum cheese is what makes this franchise unique. S tier. Right now. All right. All right. I'm throwing it in there. Jeez, with how stubborn you are with this game, you might as well be Kiryu himself. What was that about me being stubborn, you little rat? Uh, I'll have you know that I'm not some kind of rough mobster or whatever the hell. So I'd appreciate if you put a little respect on my name. Thank you. Bro, what the hell? Sorry about that, Kiryu hun. My friend over here sometimes thinks like an edgy teenage girl on occasion. Fuck off, Anyways, whore. are you here to help us rank your games? Ah, a tier list. I remember some of these going around among the kids at the orphanage. Let me take a look here. Okay, just look at my screen then. Well, you haven't done much, but I already see you put Yakuza 0 in S tier. This is valid already. Well done, small humanoid animals, and that scary ass robot too. I am flattered, Kiryu, but I believe we should get back on track with Yakuza Kiwami, the remake of the first Yakuza game. Ah yes, the one that started it all. I think it's no secret that I have a pretty big soft spot for this game. Fair enough. It's quite the improvement over the original. It looks so much better and adds in a ton of gameplay enhancements. All the fighting styles makes the combat feel fresh, and running through Kamurocho and playing all kinds of minigames was very fun. And my good old partner Majima. Gotta love the guy, despite, you know, him being him. While it's not quite at the level that Zero is on, I still believe this entry in the series gets a solid A tier. I agree. A tier for Kiwami 1. Now we're on to Kiwami 2. I feel this is on very similar ground with the first one. This was where I fully went on my path to redemption. Not to mention having to face one of my toughest enemies, Ryuji Goda. That's a good point. Ryuji, Daigo, and Karu all really helped your character growth in this game and they were very important additions to the series as a whole. I found most of the minigames to be quite enjoyable as well, especially the Gravor photo shoot. Oh my god, Omega, stop talking! Ha ha! I like this robot already! He has good taste! Good god, don't encourage him. Let's just put Kiwami 2 in A tier and move on to Yakuza 3. Damn, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, this one ain't it, Chief. Really? I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, I finally got to look over the orphanage, free of my prior clan. I am in agreement that this entry is among the weaker Yakuza games. The combat especially brings it down quite a bit. Seriously, so many of your attacks are blocked. It doesn't help that the game hasn't gotten a remake either. At least, not yet. And I didn't really like Mene. Like seriously, was that guy supposed to get redeemed after how he treated those poor orphans? I won't go into spoilers, but damn, he was a mid-villain. I see what you mean. The combat especially can be quite frustrating on harder difficulties. I tell you though, I'm gonna go ape shit when this game gets remade. True, true. But for now, I'm putting this damn game in damn D tier. Now, we're on to Yakuza 4. This one is a bit better, I feel. This game revolves around switching between Kiryu and three other characters. While I enjoyed Akiyama's character, I did not much care for the other two newcomers. Exactly! Why the hell are you guys taking the spotlight from me? Fuck you, Sega! Hey, you learn to hate love Sega over time. It happens to all of us, bro. Gotta spread that good old hate love every now and then. Just like how basically the entire Yakuza community can't decide on whether they hate or love this game. The combat is a definite upgrade from 3, that's for sure. And I believe the story, at least on Kiryu's part, is a lot better. No spoilers, of course. Agreed. And for that, I'll put 4 in C tier. Now we're on to Yakuza 5. And thank God this series has straightforward sequel titles, man. Okay. Even I can admit that this game was way, way too long, man. It didn't help that the story spread out among five characters this time. I also found that the minigames, while still entertaining, weren't as greatly fleshed out or fun as other entries, especially the hunting game. I disliked that one immensely. Yeah, that one sucked balls. But again, I think Kiryu's story was really well done, and that goofy little dancing minigame in the middle of the game was pretty charming, not gonna lie. Glad you guys like my story so much. It's been one hell of a ride, to say the least. We'll always appreciate a well-written character. They're quite rare to come across in our franchise nowadays, right, Shadow? You clearly have a death wish, bitch. But that's besides the point. Yakuza 5 can go into C tier with 4. And now, we're onto Yakuza 6. Well, I think this was a big upgrade after 3, 4, and 5's release. 
However, I don't think it quite reaches the top of the list due to a few flaws, like the simplified combat. Didn't help that Yakuza 0 came out right before it, and that game's combat was amazing. The minigames are definitely much better though. Like, way better. Hell, you can even play other Sega games like Puyo Puyo and Virtua Fighter. And of course, they made me the one and only playable character. Ah, the balance has been restored. As a result, the game's length feels much more reasonable. The game also looks fantastic and set the bar for the graphics of future entries. For these reasons, I believe Yakuza 6 deserves a critically placed A tier. Sounds good to me. A tier for 6. Now we're on to the second to last entry, that being Yakuza, like a dragon. I genuinely love this game. It's fantastic. But unfortunately, this is where your boy rode off into the sunset. I only got a cameo this time round. Hey, I really enjoyed Ichiben, though. He's such a lovable goofball. That hair is crazy, too. He will never be the goat, but he is not a bad replacement by any means. One of the more interesting elements in this entry, however, is the JRPG-style combat, introduced thanks to Ichiban himself. At first it was a little weird to look at, but I came around to it, and now I think it's pretty damn fun. And seeing all those thugs turn into weird creatures was fucking hilarious. And finally, Isazaki Ijincho is a fantastic place to roam around in and makes the game feel truly open world. It's a stunning location with so many fun side quests and characters to find. It is with all this that I, Kazuma Kiryu, despite not being in this game for the most part, advocate for this game being in S tier. I completely agree. Even if I generally think Yakuza 0 is the better game overall, Like a Dragon no less deserves its praise. With that, I'll put it in S tier, and now we're on to the final main series game in the franchise. As of now, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Yes, your boy is back, and... Oh wait, I got cancer, fuck. I do not feel sadness often, but even I thought I might shed a hypothetical tear when I found out about this information. Nah, it's okay, your boy went to treatment so I might be okay. Anyways, I think this game slapped, although not quite as much as the previous game. The combat retains the JRPG formula, but you gotta love the fact that Kiryu can go into real-time combat too. That's a nice touch. The Hawaiian setting was very visually pleasing for my sensors, and seeing Ichiban Kasuga and Kazuma Kiryu come together to team up in the story felt like a cool crossover. And the story felt easy to digest and less convoluted than some of the previous games. No spoilers, of course, but this is a good game to just jump into as well. Speaking of which, it was nice to revisit both the Yokohama and Kamurocho maps that I traveled back in my prior games. It kind of felt like a trip down memory lane. Hear that, boys? A Sega franchise that used nostalgia without relying Shut on the, the fuck, fuck up, Rouge. Rouge. Ain't nobody wanna hear that shit, bitch. Stop dogging on your own franchise, homegirl. Oh, shut up, Omega, you Roomba-looking ass. You aren't good with using common slang, hun. Uh, so are we gonna put this in A tier before you chuckle nuts get out of hand again? Sure, whatever. Infinite Wealth goes in A tier, and that's the list. Banger series, as I said so myself. I'm pretty grateful that my series gets so much attention from Sega, especially considering how fucking awful they are with keeping their non-Sonic franchises alive, huh? Yeah, we're not sure what's up with that, but it looks like things are gonna get a bit better soon. Agreed. We need more than, like, three franchises that are consistently getting new entries. I suppose, as some of us say, we can only hope. We can only hope for a marginally better list of consistently updated gaming franchises. Facts, my brother. Facts. You know, I gotta admit, this was around the time that I thought one of Sonic's annoying comrades would come in here to annoy us or whatever. My scanners are picking up an approaching case of bad timing. Bad time? Wait. Oh no, oh fuck. Oh hey, god damn it! What the hell are you Team Dark Scrubs doing in Sonic's VC? Get out of here! Well, hello to you too, Amy. Long time no see. Oh, don't hello, Amy me. You all better explain. Wait, is that Kazuma Kiryu? Um, no. Why, yes, that is in fact Kazuma Kiryu what? of Yakuza fame. What the oh, hell, shit, Omega? So cool. You oh know god, I don't oh like fangirls. I, I thought we were homies. Oh shit, my bad, bro. That was a major L on my part. Damn it, Omega, for the last time. Stop trying to use 14-year-old internet slang. With the way you say that, you sound like fucking Sonic. God fucking damn it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my. Who the hell invited the whole damn Caverly into our VC? What the hell kind of crack is this? Shut your fucking mouth, Faker. This day was going so marginally better until all you corny fucks showed up. Geez, okay. Let's just all calm down a bit. No need to start arguing, fellas. Hey, Sonic. Oh, uh... 
Hey, Ames. Well, hello there, Knuckles. Stay the fuck away from me, you harlot. For once, I'm going to sit back and just let everything come crashing down around me. Damn it, Sonic! This is exactly why I said to make the server private to Team Sonic members only! Now we got all these fuckers joining our VC while we're off doing shit! Don't you make me chaos control your bitch ass for talking recklessly! Oh, I love oh to see God. you! I never get a you moment of peace and quiet! Your little hero shows are all up in my grill! I just want Marina back! I just want to have a moment where I don't need to deal with you fucking assholes! Gosh! Shut the actual fuck up, you dumb fucking furries! Yo, hold the phone! Is that Kazuma Kiryu? I hate it here. Wow, you made him leave Big Blue. Guess that makes sense, considering he never left with us Team Dark around. Oh, don't freaking instigate that shit. No, these fucks clearly want to go, and I'm gonna give them a good old Knuckles Sammy in about three seconds. Knuckles, calm the hell down for three seconds instead. Wait, hold up. I got a great idea. Oh, great. Freaking young Sheldon over here's having his damn bazinga moment. Anyways, since we're all clearly in a competitive mood, we were thinking about doing a little bit of Smash Ultimate. Why don't we set up a tourney for all of us, huh? I am in agreement with the intelligent fox. It will let me take out my inner turmoil and frustration out on my enemies in a fun and skill-based setting. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Point being, are you in, Shadow, or are you gonna admit Team Sonic is better than your edge band? You know what? Freaking game on, motherfucker. We're gonna destroy your ass chaos control style. It's settled then, everyone. Load up your switches and grab those GameCube controllers pronto. Wait, wait, hold up, gang. We only got seven of us here. Shit, the whore is right. Fuck Who's off. gonna be our eighth? Huh, uh, I guess I could try to call up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did somebody request an eighth player? Son of a bitch. And here's a special thank you to Juan CL, Sum X, Tommy Hart, Yellow Ives, Modern 23 Blocks, Justice Outlaw 8468, FFCM 15, King Johnny TH 445, Stephen Hefner, X Cyber 8, Madamidas 8503, Raquel Gomez, Money Dynamic Matanya, Uzuka Scarlaboshi, and Mr. Troll for being our amazing members. Stay safe and take care, everyone.